Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rayan and I would like to give you an overview about our paper Assessment of anti vegf in treating diabetic macular edema in Al-Faisal Eye Center, Khartoum, Sudan in 2019 So diabetic retinopathy is one of the most common complications of diabetes It occurs when the retinal blood vessels grow, swell and leak into the retina Almost every patient with diabetes will develop some degree of diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic macular edema is a term used to describe diabetic retinopathy when macula is involved. It causes decreased or blurry vision. Remember that the macula is the functional center of the retina and is the only part of the retina which provides us with detailed central vision. Diabetic macular edema can happen through the different stages of diabetic retinopathy. Antivascular endothelial growth factors or antivegeous injections are drugs injected to the vitreous of the affected eye. They work against the vascular endothelial growth factors in the retina to control the growth of abnormal blood vessels, which is the main pathological problem of diabetic retinopathy. They have become the first line therapy for diabetic retinopathy, but their use is still limited in Sudan. We have only two types of antivirus injections available here in the country, Lucentis and the Vastin, and they are not even always available. Besides, their administration is most often associated to laser intervention, although laser therapy has nearly become an obsolete modality for treating diabetic macular edema and diabetic retinopathy in most developed countries. In addition to that, the high cost of antivirus challenges Sudanese ophthalmologists who would like to provide quality care to their patients at minimum cost. This study aimed to assess the outcomes of antivirus injections in treating diabetic macular edema in Sudan. We tried to evaluate the effectiveness of the injections by measuring changes in visual acuity and retinal thickness before and after treatment, and also by assessing patient satisfaction towards the treatment. We also assessed the accessibility of Sudanese patients to these medications. We found that both antivirus, lucentis, and avastin are effective in treating diabetic macular edema. The correlation analysis showed a significant difference in both types of treatment measurements. However, lucentis showed a preferable improvement in visual acuity and retinal thickness than avastin. The used multinomial regression model revealed that glycemic control, duration of treatment, Type and frequency of injection use are the most contributing factors to the effectiveness of antivirus medications. And when assessing the accessibility to these medications, we found that the availability of them is fluctuant in the Sudanese market, and the majority of the population cannot afford both of them. And this contributes more to the limitation of these medicines in the country. So the authorities and policymakers require alternative strategies and solutions to overcome these constraints. Thank you very much.